Travel Robot Presence. Hey, in this video we are going to talk about the top 10 things to do in Ethiopia. Ethiopia has managed to keep its colorful cultural identity. This is apparent through its historic fortresses, indigenous villages, and deep-seated traditions and customs that permeate the country. One visit to Ethiopia, and you'll see what makes this country incredibly unique compared to other parts of Africa. Besides exploring Ethiopia's rich history, you'll have the opportunity to immerse yourself in nature. With rugged mountains, shimmering lakes, and even volcanic craters, there are plenty of things to do in Ethiopia in terms of natural beauty. Between the breathtaking landscapes and ancient cultural heritage, Ethiopia is guaranteed to be one of your most memorable trips. So before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Lake Tana. As the primary source of the infamous Blue Nile River, Lake Tana is one of the most diverse ecosystems in Africa. It also happens to be the largest lake in Ethiopia, covering 50 miles of the northwestern Ethiopian highlands. The lake is approximately 84 kilometers, 52 miles, long and 66 kilometers, 41 miles, wide, with a maximum depth of 15 meters, 49 feet, and an elevation of 1,788 meters, 5,866 feet. The lake level has been regulated since the construction of the control weir, where the lake discharges into the Blue Nile. A boat trip is the best way to explore the lake, and you'll find many companies and locals offering day trips to visitors. As you cruise through the water, you'll be greeted by an abundance of fish, birds, and even mammals like hippos and soft-shelled turtles. There are also several monasteries and churches to visit that are situated along the coastline. Number 9. Faisal Gebi The spectacular Faisal Gebi is a unique architectural masterpiece that mixes both European and Nubian styles. The design of the castle is heavily influenced by Arab and Hindu architecture. While the medieval towers and stone facade were brought over by Jesuit missionaries, this fortress was built in the 17th century and was used as the main residence for Ethiopian emperors. As you tour the complex, you'll get to walk through the main Fasilides castle and the Ayasu Ais Palace. In addition, you'll see the Dawid Ais Hall, four stables, an on-site library, and three neighboring churches. Number 8. National Museum of Ethiopia Take a deep dive into Ethiopia's history at the National Museum of Ethiopia. The museum has three different exhibits with thousands of artifacts and archaeological finds on display. The most notable exhibit is the paleoanthropological section, which houses the remains of early hominids or apes. The NME at present has four main exhibition sections. The basement is dedicated to archaeological and paleoanthropological sections. The first floor contains objects from ancient and medieval periods, as well as regalia and memorabilia from former rulers. The second floor shows artwork in a chronological order, from traditional to contemporary works. Afwork Tekel's massive African heritage is one of the most notable pieces. The third floor has an ethnographic display. Here, the museum tries to give an overview of the cultural richness and variety of the peoples of Ethiopia. Here, you'll find the skeleton of Lucy, whose fossil remains are over 3.2 million years old. She is believed to be the oldest remains of any human ancestor. The museum also has an exhibit for African art, as well as a display for historical memorabilia from ancient and medieval periods. Number 7. Blue Nile Falls The dramatic thundering of the Blue Nile Falls is guaranteed to take your breath away. Although it's only 138 feet high, this three-stream waterfall is shrouded in a fog of mist and often accompanied by the faint shimmer of rainbows. It consisting of four streams that originally varied from a trickle in a dry season to over 400 meters wide in the rainy season. Getting to the falls can be time-consuming and difficult, so a tour guide is often recommended. You can either make the steep trek to the top viewpoint or take a motorboat to the base of the falls. It's a good idea to avoid going during the dry season from January to March, as there is little water cascading down the falls. Number 6. Omo National Park Considered to be Ethiopia's most remote park, the Omo National Park is a pristine slice of untouched natural beauty. You'll have the chance to explore sprawling grasslands, lush forests, 
and bubbling hot springs. The park is also home to several indigenous tribes, including the Mercy, Surma, Mogudj, and Dizzy people. Although an airstrip was recently built near the park headquarters on the Mui River, this park is not easily reachable. The Lonely Planet Guide Ethiopia and Eritrea describes Omo National Park as Ethiopia's most remote park. However, most people visit Omo National Park for wildlife viewing. Not only will you find buffalo, elephants, zebras, and kudas, but you'll also encounter dangerous predators like cheetahs, lions, and leopards. Number 5. Harar Jagal Wall Surrounded by dry deserts and barren savannas, the Harar Jagal Wall is a historic town located on the eastern side of Ethiopia. This walled city was an important trade center and even served as the capital of the Harari Kingdom from 1520 to 1568. Nowadays, Harar continues to be one of the most sacred Islamic cities in the country, with 82 mosques and over 100 shrines. The walls were built between the 13th and 14th centuries, although some of the mosques inside the old town date back to the 10th century. Stroll through the labyrinth of winding alleys and admire the colorful houses and bustling atmosphere that make Harar incredibly unique. Number 4. Dalol Comprised of muddy hot springs, boiling sulfuric pools, and toxic gas bubbles, the uninhabited cauldron of Dalol holds the record of being the hottest place on the planet. It has an average temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year. Despite its threatening appearance, it's still possible to visit Dalol and even to hike up to the Erta Ale volcanic crater. Besides the desire to feel the record-holding temperatures, many travelers visit Dalol to admire the unusual landscape. It is known for its unearthly colors and mineral patterns, and the very acidic fluids that discharge from its hydrothermal springs. The colorful canvas of cobalt and turquoise hot springs are juxtaposed against the bright yellow and orange salt deposits, making it a truly jaw-dropping sight. Number 3. Debru Burhan Selassie From the outside, the modest stone facade of the Debru Burhan Selassie Church and Monastery may not look like much. But once you step inside, you'll be surrounded by colorful and elaborate frescoes on all sides. A large stone wall with 12 rounded towers surrounds the compound, and these represent the 12 apostles. The larger 13th tower entrance gate symbolizes Christ and is shaped to resemble the Lion of Judah. If you have a keen eye, you'll be able to spot the lion's tail above the doorway in the wall west of the church. Flash photography inside the church is forbidden. Number 2. Debra Damo Debra Damo is the name of a flat-top mountain or amba and a 6th-century monastery in Tigray region of Ethiopia. The mountain is a steeply rising plateau of trapezoidal shape, about 1,000 by 400 meters, 3,000, 300 by 1,000, 300 feet in dimension. It sits at an elevation of 2,216 meters, 7,270 feet above sea level. The journey to the breathtaking Debradamo Monastery is almost as impressive as the building itself. It sits on top of a massive plateau and is only accessible by climbing 50 feet along the cliff using a thin leather rope. Once you reach the top, you'll be able to say you've stepped foot in one of the oldest religious buildings in Ethiopia. Today, it's home to over 150 monks who are entirely self-sufficient, which means they grow their own food and raise their own cattle. Number 1. Simeon Mountains National Park Between the jagged peaks and the lush green valleys, the Simeon Mountains National Park in northern Ethiopia is an exotic setting with unique wildlife and breathtaking views on a landscape shaped by nature and traditional agriculture. The natural beauties of this region have always filled visitors from Ethiopia and abroad with awe. Gentle highland ridges at altitudes above 3,600 meters above sea level amass, covered with grasses, isolated trees, erica and board. And the bizarre giant lobelia are found on the high plateau that ends abruptly at 1,000 to 2,000 in deep escarpments. At its center is Ras Dashan, the highest mountain in the country and the 10th highest in all of Africa. Most travelers choose to take a multi-day trek through the park. Besides admiring the jaw-dropping scenery, you'll also have a chance to encounter wildlife that roams through the Simi Mountains. There are over 20 different mammals, including galata baboons, caracals, and spotted hyenas. 
If you're lucky, you might even spot the endangered Walia ibex or Ethiopian wolf. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.